Oh, you can see a lot of my crap, but uh, that'll do. That'll do. Um, so, you actually are in my bedroom now. Um, rather than in France, I have come back from France, <laughs> which is lovely. Uh, basically, Sam just loves to mooch. Um, and so we just mooched a lot. Mooching, by the way, is our terminology for pondering. No, it's like a mixture of pootering and like, mm, I don't, we thought it was a mixture of two words, but like it's either pootering or mooching, one of the two. But yeah, anyway, the point is we were just uh, being lazy because we could be lazy and I was being lazy amongst sewing, so, but I'm back and it's it's really nice to be home actually, even though I love France a lot and it's lovely in all its different ways, I miss, I miss my archery, I miss my National Trust gardens, I miss, I miss my garden, I miss footpaths, I know it sounds really strange, but footpaths in general. French don't really have them. I think it's because they're so big that like, you know, it's just not a thing. So you just don't know where you're walking. You could be walking in a private land. You never know. So I like the, um, maybe I just like the safety of a footpath. Plus there is the old thing where they have shooting in France and like, as in wild shooting and you could walk onto a field and they'd be shooting stuff and you get shot. So, and it legitimately happened in Feltown where our town is. So, you know, but anyway, uh, today I just thought I would tell you some stuff. I actually, I wrote some notes by notes. I mean, I did a bullet point list of four things <laughs> because I don't know how people do it on here but I, I would forget otherwise. Sorry, I have an itchy nose. Um, so the first thing I wanted to do was actually explain my name of the channel anyway. Um, so my name is Emily, but the channel is called The Secret Sewer. And some of you may have gone, hmm, that's not how you spell sewer. Um, I know, I do know that. Um, I spelt it specifically like that for a reason because my whole, I, I think I made it up like a couple of months ago and I was like, yeah, I could do this. And I didn't, and I left it. But the whole point of it was that my life is just a mixture of loads of different stuff, but mainly textiles because that is my job. I am a textiles teacher, well, DT, but my specialism is in textiles. My whole background is in fashion textiles. So it's mainly sewing, but as I may have alluded to, I love gardening too. So pun on words, <laughs> I'm going to do some videos about when I sow seeds and um, just my gardening story journey. Sorry, well, it's a journey kind of, I've already, basically I've got my garden, which is probably like, it's very small. It's like a semi-detached house with, you know, a standard, like small, tiny garden at the back, small, tiny garden at the front. Um, so doing that uh, because it's kind of died a bit, as I'm sure everyone else has, has died too. So basically I've got to redo that because uh, it's like the Sahara Desert. I don't understand why. I think it's the sun position, but out front's like the Sahara, out back's like a little cooler Sahara, but still a Sahara. So I need to do a load of stuff there. And then, <laughs> then this is where my now husband um, tells me, which is true, I basically try and do everything. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I suppose like this, I can do that. But I, I please tell me everyone else relates. Um, 
but I'm happy for it. I mean, I may cram a load of things in, but I'm happy that I at least had a go. So I have this garden. I'm pointing this way because it's over there. I'm facing it. Our house is in a cul-de-sac and it backs onto a community bit of land. I got fed up of it being shit, basically. Like, weeds, brown, when they sprayed it with what I can only think is weed killer. Um, so anyway, I redid it all. Um, and I dug stuff, planted stuff. Um, but it's gone a bit down the drain because of the wedding. So I need to redo that. And I have an allotment too. <laughs> I took that on last year. So I have a... 10 meter by 5 meter allotment <laughs> with a massive greenhouse on it the greenhouse of my dreams um so yeah that's that's my gardening side i feel really far away from the camera so i'm just gonna come a bit closer um so yeah i'm gonna do some videos on that you can just flip past if you or not even click on them if you're not interested because you're here for the summing not the summing of the seeds um but yeah uh i think everyone should garden because it's amazing and you just feel so much better for it so please give it a go if not but yes that is why i am called the secret sower being it spelt slightly weird so just wanted to tell you that i can spell most of the time <laughs> I'm actually a terrible speller, but most of the time I do spell correctly. Um, I have actually corrected a couple of kids' books with the wrong spellings before and been picked up on it. It happens. You know, us teachers are not perfect. So please give us a break. Um, I'm just looking at my four bullet point list here. So tick, explain why I'm called the secret sewer. Right makes Ooh. um so i was gonna make ogden camis and maybe i'll try and insert a picture like they do on the videos of what the ogden cami looks like it was a super popular pattern ages ago it still is it's a classic um so i will show you the first one that i made and maybe i will try and slot in some videos and pictures like a professional youtuber uh I'm just going to turn this inside out because I did not prep this for videoing. So this is my first Ogden Cami. So this is the French um, commune fabric or Bricomp fabric one. You can see, I should bring it a bit closer. You can see it's got the little houses on there. Um, and I just really loved the print. And then on the back, it's um, just striped. I used some of the material for the straps as well. You can see it's got little bits of the video. Um, but it was really nice. I can't really... Look, see, see, even in winter, you can just put it over a long sleeve top. Boom. It's a versatile piece. <laughs> or at least that's what I class it as. And then uh, in the summer, take off the long sleeve. Got the strappy top but i wore this a couple of times on holiday because i did finish it and it was just it's just nice and breezy um so yeah that was really lovely and i think i made it in the third third smallest size i can't actually remember the size but i made it ages ago in a really well one size smaller so i think it was the second smallest size because i'm remembering the lines when i cut it out and that was too small and I actually don't go by I don't know if anyone else does this I don't follow the strap size because the strap size when I put it on for some reason and this happens with dresses too so I feel like I have a fat underarm <laughs> it just cuts in here like it was just too tight on the strap so then it would cut in underneath here and I'd be like ow ow so I just yeah I basically make the strap a bit bigger um and yeah it just it fits perfectly there's room for boobs there's room for floating getting some air in when you're really hot because that is the first place you sweat which i realized i didn't realize i think i just reminded myself on holiday i don't know about anyone else you just sweat here like 
as a woman, I think it's just like under boob sweat is the first place. So makes it nice and airy for you. So that is Ogden Cami number one. I'm very pleased with that one. Um, Ogden Cami top number two didn't go as planned. <laughs> so it did. Um, up until the point, basically, I think, I don't know if I said on the other video, but I was just like, ah, I'll buy some ribbon or some bias binding or another fabric that's similar to make the straps because you don't have enough, Emily, to make the straps as well. So I cut it out. So this is the other one. Uh, and I've sewed it together and everything. Like it's all ready to be sewn. Like here's the inside bit. Um, but I couldn't find any bias binding or matching ribbon or anything. So I, in France anyway, <laughs> bearing in mind people, I only have the commune shop, uh, which is like a big charity shop. I'm going to do another video about that later, by the way. And the fabric stall man, which comes every Friday in the town market. And he didn't have any bias binding that was the colour. And I couldn't find any matching fabric. So I was like, sod it, I am not going to make this just to get it done. But I really do love the print. Um, the only downside with this is I've realised it's a bit, it's just a bit stiffer. <laughs> this is going to sound awful. But it means I have to iron it. Just fucking hate ironing. <laughs> so um, I'm really hoping I don't have like iron it as much when it's really done I just we don't iron in this house uh it's a classic case of come out the washing flick put it on the dryer uh I don't use tumble dryer because it sucks oh, it's just a waste of energy like why waste that energy um so yeah I will finish this um when I find some bias binding I only live 10 minutes walk from Hobbycraft um so maybe I'll go have a look or I need to start buying locally, I need to do that. So there is a shop in my town, which I live in, which is more of an independent one. Um, so I'll go maybe look in there and see if they've got a matching, even just a shade of fabric, like just this navy blueness. Um, Cause I think bias binding might be a bit stiff. So yeah, Ogden Cami number two top didn't go as planned. Um, but my dress, which is down here, love this. As I said, I this was a Liberty fabric that I got ages ago. Um, and it's just been sat in my stash for such a long time. Look at that colour combination. Oh, this might be my first day back at school outfit. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, I don't think you can't, like I said, I'll try and put in a picture. But um, it's just, it feels like a linen-y wool blend. I think that's what I said in my last video. But anyway, I don't care because it looks amazing. And I basically decided to put in these tie straps because, because I just thought if I get bigger, <laughs> then I can just adjust them. Because I remember, I think, I don't know how long ago i'm pretty sure it was the by hand london lady and i don't know if it's a blog post or something or an instagram but she was saying how she makes a lot of wrap things or elastic heavy things because it just makes sense you are gonna grow or more on a period we're gonna bloat or like i just have ibs anyway look it up if you don't know what it is uh and i just i get upset stomachs quite a bit so again like I don't tend to wear a lot of fitted stuff it's either elasticated um or just like loose fitting because it's just uncomfortable uh so I just thought yeah everything I make I'm gonna try and make adjustable whether it's the wrap or the elastic or anything like that um so yeah that's why I made it with the straps but it's just it's really lovely and it's nice and flowy um I did notice when I actually made it that uh, there's a couple of, there's one or two holes. Oh, there's one there. Um, 
which I'm going to maybe just interface the back of and do that little stitch mending thing. Um, oh, I actually put in a label. <laughs> Forgot about that. So I put in a label that goes on the side because I always fucking forget to put it in an actual seam. So I put in this Kylie and the Machines Go, what is it? Go Go Juice label in there. Um, oh my god, I don't think I actually. Ah, oh, I forgot to put a label in this in this one. I'll do that. Um, so yeah, I think this is definitely my favourite one. Um, which I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna wear a lot. Like dresses, you just don't have to think about. You just chuck it on. So yeah i'm really really happy with that um and i just like in the batch cut so speaking of batch cutting i'm going to show you what my next makes are i think that's my third bullet point is my pants <laughs> so i showed you one of the fabrics before that i'm gonna uh make something into and then another fabric is just one that I've had in my sash for a while. So the first one, if I actually, <laughs> I'm down here, get a big piece of it so you can actually see. Um, if you watched my last video, you were seeing that I got this fabric um, from my commune shop in France. So you can smell it. <laughs> Shit, I probably should have washed it first. Ah, uh, well. I know they wash stuff when they get it, it just, it smells of the shop. It doesn't smell dirty, but I'll just wash it once I made it. <laughs> so it's, this was a bed sheet. Um, and yeah, it's, there was loads of it, loads and loads of it. So I'm gonna make, uh, and I'm pretty sure I said this last time, but I'm gonna make uh, two uh, Tilly and the Buttons indigo dresses, which I'll insert picture wherever um one so this one this one is gonna have and i think let me just check with the sleeves yeah so with the sleeves here i've cut out the it's gonna have puff sleeves because i haven't done a puff sleeve um and i was i was thinking about doing the flutter sleeve but i just didn't think this fabric would say that i'm draping it right now but i just didn't think it would drape enough to look nice for a flutter sleeve um i'm second guessing my decision now but the point was i just chose to do the puff sleeve and then it's gonna be two ruffle tiers and then but the bottom one's gonna be a small ruffle tier so hopefully it'll come up to like my knees and um yeah but not be a long one because i have a long one and i just sometimes i get a bit warm in it so that's a winter one I, this is like a this is an autumnal so yeah I, I just really love this fabric i love the colors i just love all the greens with the oranges i mean that's basically the best transitional summer into autumn piece i really sound like a like a proper professional <laughs> okay so that's my first indigo dress um and my next one let's just actually get a decent piece so you can see so this fabric oh um i feel like i'm liking the florals this fabric was from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. Um, I think it was a couple of seasons ago, but it's a, uh, I think it's a viscose rayon. If that, I'm just making that shit up, but it's definitely a viscose something, but I've learned to buy a certain type of viscose because it's nice and drapey and flowy rather than there's another one oh visco chalice or whatever you call it chalice blah 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 um i don't buy that one anymore because it's too coarse and it doesn't hang i mean it's probably good for some things but i prefer this one um so yeah the pattern i think is beautiful <laughs> and it's a really nice drape like i said so this 
this one I've decided to do short sleeves with a ruffle and then the same length of the dress so two tier up to my knees ish um but yeah that's gonna be my other indigo dress i just think it'll be lovely for school um i think i have more school stuff uh that yeah basically all of my stuff for school is handmade um which is great the kids are like mind blown um even though i'm just like who do you think like or what do you think your clothes are from like where do you think they are made do you think they're just magic someone has made that shirt or that pair of trousers you know so anyway it blows their little tiny minds um but yeah most of my stuff for school is handmade um not a lot of my stuff at home because i just tend to live in dungarees or jeans or shorts which i should make more of um but yeah those are my two makes i want to do this time um and maybe i'm gonna try and get them done before i go back to school i go back to school on wednesday slash thursday so yeah fingers crossed i actually managed to do it um i am actually wearing <laughs> normally they say at the beginning of these videos i am actually wearing a handmade thing if i stand up um ooh, look at those creases um i don't know if i can stand on my this is a handmade skirt so oh yeah i can't actually remember which where this is from but it's just like a basic and it's got a really cool lining um little skirt I have actually got one cut out that I need to make that's like a nice pastel check. But yeah, it's really nice. And it just goes with all the things. Uh, this is just a charity shop top. You can't go wrong with stripes. Um, and, and there's my wedding ring. <laughs> and I can't wear it because it cuts into my fingers. So uh, yeah, I think that's most of the things covered. I have literally just come back from work um because teachers work in the holidays because we're super cool um yeah i went in to do like a load of paperwork stuff just get all that out the way i say all of that make a dent in it like there's just a lot of paperwork that goes with teaching so i made a small dent and now i am going to go to my allotment do some watering um and yeah, I I will make a little separate video showing you the commune shop and this other place that I went to. Um, what was it called? I think it was like textile bradery or something, which basically means like you pay so many things for a kilo. Um, so I'll make a little video of that and show you what I got from there um, and what I'm going to make out of it. So yeah, I <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, but um, if you like my video, please, please press the like button down there somewhere um, and subscribe, I guess. I just also want to say, I'm, I need to stop talking, this is a long video, but I just want to say thank you so much <laughs> to whoever is subscribed. I think I have like 15 subscribers and as soon as that first subscriber went on, I, I was so happy. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, someone actually wants to listen to me. Um, so thank you very much. I guess it just reminds me of that meme where it's just like, to all the eight people that like my picture, do you want anything from the gas station? So if anyone actually has subscribed, I don't know how the fuck you tell who has subscribed. Like, I just, I really wanted to find out your names. Like, a weird stalker person. Just to say, like, thanks. So, comment below if you've subscribed. It'd be nice to see who you are. Um, but, yeah. So, just thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I will try and put some more stuff up. I've got to edit this one first but yeah hope you have a lovely week hope you have a lovely evening or day or whatever time you actually watch this video and um i will see you soon bye